8.30 in the morning, I was waiting for the university bus uh, in Gantok. I could see and observe a huge crowd somewhere near the road, inside a shop. Part of the crowd was inside, part of the crowd was outside. All of them watching something very seriously on the television kept inside the shop. All of them were watching the broadcast of the funeral of Sathya Sai Baba, which was broadcast from Puttaparthi, Andhra Pradesh, uh, which is almost 2,500 kilometers away. Uh, that's very fascinating. Uh, it was only later I realized when I did a formative study and I you know, had interviews in-depth interviews with key respondents, that this was one of the most viewed broadcast uh, in, in the town and in the region in recent times. Interestingly, on 27th of April, the, the broadcast of the funeral, the state government had declared a state holiday, which was not even uh, in the case of Andhra Pradesh, where uh, <laughs> To enable, primarily to enable the people to watch the broadcast on the television. Um, well, uh, be before I, I, I go on, I just want you to see and refresh your mind uh, just for a minute as to just the broadcast. Uh, I could 
you know, I did a study there and, and portrayed at least four very important reasons uh, as to why Sakya Sai Baba is so popular. Miracles uh, is, is one of them. And, you know, uh, a very striking feature of the Sakya Sai Baba cult is miracles. And a lot of miracles have been happening in the town since the 60s. Uh, for example, here, you know, this is a photograph uh, which shows Bibuti flowing uh, down uh, from the photograph from somewhere uh, uh, in one of the disciples' uh, houses. Uh, miracles, uh, as I said, were happening in the town and have been happening in the town. And a lot of people visit Puttaparthi as well. So they witness a lot of miracles there as well. So when they come back, you know, they tell the stories. And that's how it has been uh, a part of the dominant narrative there. Um, secular religion of Satya Sai Baba, as you could have, you must have heard in, in the narration of the uh, narrator there on the television broadcast, is again something that uh, goes very well with the people. Uh, he doesn't talk about one single religion, uh, doesn't talk about conversion. Um, the institutional growth uh, is again very interesting and across the state you'd have, uh, you know, uh, organizations of Satya Sai Baba involving the youth, the children, uh, the women, the men, the adults, everybody uh, for various programs. Um, Influence of Darjeeling is another very important uh, factor. Darjeeling is a nearby uh, region of, of West Bengal, and a lot of people have come down to Darjeeling during the during the 70s when the state merged with the Indian Union uh, for you know because there was a lot of employment opportunities and all. So uh, and by then Darjeeling already had a huge follow follower of uh, Satya Sai Baba. So when they came to Gangtok, they they also brought. Uh, Satya Sai Baba from Darjeeling. Uh, now, going on to the ritualization of the broadcast, uh, one would find that ever since he was hospitalized uh, on 28th of March 2011, television channels uh, started uh, giving wide and sustained coverage, updates on the health of Satya Sai Baba, what's happening. Um, Particularly, one week during and before his death and after his death, uh, if you would look at the number of stories that, for example, NDTV had broadcast, you would see that on, on 24th of April, a total number of seven, 17 news stories were there on a single day, which is very, very significant. Uh, in terms of the time that has been devoted, again on NDTV, my study is here, I'm, I'm limiting my study to NDTV, 24-7. Uh, uh, if you look at, uh, on, on, uh, on the, day, the day of the broadcast, 27-4, uh, a total of 108.56 minutes were given uh, to, to, to the man, you know, um, which also included two documentaries in the evening. Uh, on 24th, of course, the, fire, the broadcast of the funeral, as well as other obituaries and uh, messages from various people across the country. Um, okay. Now, looking at, at the religious forms uh, in the funeral broadcast, uh, I, I take you through four levels of analysis uh, where I will try to find and uh, trace religion uh, in the broadcast. And uh, the first level would be you know, explicitly recognized religions. Uh, for example, in the broadcast, there were a lot of visuals of the Hindu ritual. And I'm talking about the broadcast of the funeral here. A lot of visuals about the Hindu, Hindu ritual, services, chanting of the Vedic hymns, bhajans. Um, you know, Ratnakar performing the rituals. Um, not this Ratnakar, of course. Uh, uh, why, why such Ratnakar is, is a cousin of, uh, of Satya Sai Baba? Uh, 
Now, why such a Hindu funeral when Sai Baba talked of all religion and he never talked of one single religion? Why such a Hindu funeral? It was something that people really did not understand and they introspect a lot on this. Uh, the readings on the burial, because Hindu customs uh, normally uh, prescribe for, for um, you know, burning of the dead bodies and not uh, uh, not really uh, uh, a burial as such, uh, putting inside the earth, uh, which was very strange in fact. Uh, some audiences who I talked to, I mean I talked to a lot of audiences and just uh, flagging some of the responses here, uh, they say that the burial was probably to make the broadcast look more secular or more balanced. You know, because uh, throughout it was a very Hindu ritual and probably a burial there would make it more balanced. Uh, some audiences would say that uh, there was a possibility of resurrection. And so instead of burning the dead body, uh, the dead body was put under the ground. But very few knew the reason. The very interesting point here is, you know, despite the fact that people watch this broadcast collectively, you know, qualifying it to be called a media event in, in the sense that I cut to call it. Uh, they watched it collectively and not in isolation. But despite this, there was a very little discussion that happened among the audiences as to why such burials, what, why, why such a Hindu ritual, why the burial, you know. So, uh, and the reason being that people don't discuss at the personal level. While they consume, you know, from the media, they would not discuss this death at a personal level because death, they believe, is a taboo subject. Uh, at level two, one is directed towards motives, symbols, roles, stories, and themes. Uh, now, in the broadcast, uh, uh, you know, there were state honors being given to Satya Sai Baba, uh, 21 Gan salute dragging of the dead body uh, in the national uh, flag. All these national symbols and imageries transform the event into a national grief. Uh, the myth of reincarnation was played again and again by the narrator. And mark this, she was very objective here. She quoted the story of reincarnation because Satya Sai Baba has you might know, uh, prophesied that he would be reborn again after a few years. Uh, but the journalist there, the narrator, did not, uh, you know, she quoted other sources to say this. For example, she quoted Ravi Shankar, you know, she quoted the devotees, she quoted Satya Sai Baba himself. So rather than taking sides, she was very neutral, but played again and again this, this uh, reincarnation myth. Um, why such a painful death? Dr. Sai Baba was hospitalized, He's, he had multiple uh, organ failure, he died a terrible death. So why he should not, as a, as, as, as a god on earth, he in fact resurrected many people. He saved lives. So why painful death for himself? You know, responses were varied. Some say, as Vivek Pradhan would say, he wanted to tell the world that if you are born in this world, you have to suffer and leave it one day. So learn to accept death in all humility. It's a big message for them. You know, someone else, Ratan Pradhan, say if God came today in front of man, man will never accept him. So a God had to be born as a man, live like a man, and die like a human being. Uh, both Vivek Pradhan and Ratan Pradhan's uh, comments uh, can actually be uh, okay. I'll, I'll go to that. Uh, now, at level two, uh, yeah, five minutes. Yeah. Uh, at level two, we also talk about a savior figure. The narrator uh, in her narration talked again and again about the contributions that Satya Sai Baba had made, the good deeds that he had done 
You know, he was like a savior figure. Uh, audiences there felt that the biggest miracle is yet to happen as a soul uh, the broadcast that believe that the miracle is yet to happen, the biggest miracle. We seriously believe that the biggest miracle is now to come. The glass casket would break, Swami would sit, <laughs> stand and walk away. Right? Uh, they even all, uh, compared him with Jesus Christ. They say Jesus Christ never said, I mean, he saved a lot of people, he did a lot of miracles in his lifetime, but when he was crucified, he never saved. Saved himself. So, you know, Saying the story with Sadhguru Sai Baba, at level three we are talking about performative and ritual event. Uh, you know, at the production level, as we have seen, uh, the the reporter never intruded. Her voice was reverential. You know, um, her tone was full of reverence. Uh, she would. Many a time abandon her professional objectivity and distance and often use the use the communal we. You know? Uh, uh, so she was more like a witness there rather than 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 a, 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 a reporter, objectively reporting. Uh, at the consumption level, uh, it was a big media event. The audiences had uh, prepared very well in advance to see the broadcast. They kept fast. They dressed up. Uh, they invited guests. It was a collective viewing. They rescheduled their work planning. Uh, even the morning rituals at home and at a public space called MG Mark uh, in the town, where people watched the broadcast collectively. You know, the, the viewing was patterned along the one that was shown on the television. They were all sitting on the ground, you know, singing bhajans, as, same as it was shown on the broadcast. There. At level 4, we are talking about the religious functions of television. Uh, now, television assumes a lot of significance here. Uh, if you could see this comment, Every time we saw some news on Sakta Sai Baba, we were better prepared for the eventuality. Thanks to television for taking us through. Ever since he was hospitalized, you know, uh, there was panic. But television actually took them through and, and took them through very smoothly. Imagine if we have to suddenly hear that Sakta Sai Baba has left us. Actually, television rescued them. Uh, and this could be actually explained through this three-stage process of mediation, which Carrie Kitch uh, talks of. Uh, first, the separation through death, then we have funeral ritual, and then we have reaffirmation of group values and acceptance of death. All the broadcast of the news till the funeral, uh, you know, help people to separate, a detachment process. Uh, people could feel that, okay, Sai, ba Sai Baba is no more there. But the funeral ritual actually made them believe that, yes, he is no more there now. And in the evening, when all the channels, and not just NDTV, you know, it happened with all the channels, they were showing special documentaries on Sai Sai Baba. And all of these actually reaffirmed the group values that, and helped people to accept the death ultimately. Um, so journalists here uh, are healing spiritual leaders. They work. They have a priestly function. You know, they they de-emphasize disruptive voices during such occasions. I'll take two minutes, sir. Um, one could compare here this broadcast with that of Bala Sahib Thakur's funeral. If you recollect, uh, you know, during Bala Sahib Thakur's funeral, the entire focus was on Raj Thakre. Where is Raj Thakre? This was also broadcast live, but what is Raj Thakre? You know, are the two brothers really separating or are they uniting? You know, and Raj Thakre was nowhere to be seen. But here in this case, there was not a single disruptive comment by the journalist. Despite the fact that we all know that Sakta Sai Baba was criticized vigorously for various deals, True or false, that's not uh, our, our issue, but uh, he, was, he was condemned for various reasons, um, including sexual abuse. Uh, and there was a 
person called Srinivasan, which the media actually, television channels actually were focusing on before his death funeral, and there was a lot of anticipation that he's the one who's going to perform the funerals. But this Srinivasan was nowhere to be seen. Uh, there's another story behind that. But nothing of these was talked in the narration. So, what the journalist does here is holding the community together. And she connected the celebrity with the ordinary, symboli symbolically uniting the dead with the living, and transforming private emotions into public ones. Um, so, in the conclusion, uh, what I try to do here in the presentation is uh, to tell that uh, uh, if, if death is so important uh, in religion, as many you know, religious uh, scholars would say, uh, then television brings uh, death up front. It helps people to confront with death. Uh, what we need also in such an analysis is that we need an uh, expanding definition of religion. We have to move from a very narrow definition of religion to a pretty expanding definition of religion. I could probably talk on, not talk on this during Q&A. Uh, what we have seen here is that such broadcasts actually facilitates and provokes religious and spiritual imagination. Something which um, Jongwa Sumiala talks of sacred center. This is also an antithesis to the theory that television and religion are not oxymoral. Right? And uh, you know, there, there is uh, an argument that television is uh, out and out an entertainment medium. So, howsoever serious things you put on the television, people are not going to take things seriously, which is actually not true, as we have seen here. Uh, we also have seen the ritualization about the production and consumption levels and most importantly we have seen how journalists perform a very important role of priests, modern day priests. Thank you.